Aloha. It's been a little bit. Our computer was broken. We've been up to a lot of things. So life's been kind of crazy. So this might be our first video out in a little while. But we got this beautiful rack of bananas that Autumn's going to try and help me fall on myself here if I can help it. So we'll be chopping that down in a couple seconds here. banana sap getting on your stuff it could you could stain a t-shirt with it forever and god forbid it drips in your eye you'll be blind for a couple days before it comes off as a skin yeah what a wreck and a good hand fell off of that too and look at the shape how it's like large at the top and tapers down and a little upside down V Probably about, you know, 50 pounds at least, maybe 60 pounds of bananas in one shot. Real happy. So I know there's different schools of thought about how to, uh, what to deal with your banana compost, your banana waste. Um, I cut mine high so that all the water in here can go back down and feed the base in a more natural fashion, like it just broke over midsection. And I throw my mulch around the banana uh, to keep the nutrients continuing to stay as long as possible along with what other nutrients I provided <clears throat> and I'll cheat sometimes I'll go get banana mix fertilizer give them a shot of that I give them borax uh, the bath soap or uh, laundry soap because that's you know boric acid really good for them um, calciums and uh, you know dead chicken dead fish here and there really good for them stokes them all out gives you big racks and then after a few years you're going to want to like take the chance to dig these things up break up all the cakeys keep the best of them and move them even just five or seven feet off to the side and make all the difference oh yeah bananas